Every week, countless Flutter and Dart packages are published on PubDev. In this video, I present you the most popular packages of Calendar Week 3, measured by the number of likes. Here's a quick overview of the topics that await you. A data type with two states, success or failure, fetching weather data, setting screens, state management, a unique loading circle, fast forward rewind videos by double tap, a vertical list of sections, a vertical alphabet navigation for scrolling through a list view, switching between light and dark mode and a multi-layer draw. Welcome to some tech ops. My name is Jay and this channel is all about programming. If this sounds interesting to you, subscribe to the channel and now let's get started with the package releases of calendar week 3. No one wants to fail, but failure is human. But if you are going to fail, you should at least know that. What would be more suitable for this than a data type that is representing one of the two possible states, a success or a failure, including an associated value in both cases. The package result type does exactly that. For example, you could fetch data from an API and according to the result, return either a success or a failure object. What is probably one of the most popular topics to start a conversation? It's the weather. Appropriately, a weather app is a good way to start putting the fundamental knowledge of programming into practice in a project. One particular practice here is to include a weather API. One of the most popular providers for weather APIs is Open Weather. You can even use the API for free as long as you need less than 60 calls per minute, which is perfectly sufficient for a simple test project. And if you plan to create such an app, but you're in a hurry and look for a simple solution, you can now resort to the following package, which is called Open Weather Client. The creator of Open Weather Client suggested me to introduce this package, and because I'm such a nice person, I will briefly demonstrate the package with a quick example. After adding the dependency to the pubspec YAML file, I took the example code from the documentation. In order to reconstruct the app, I needed some classes, which I found inside of the example app of the repository. Here you can see the example app and how this looks visually, but let's have a look on how this works in the code. So here you can see how simple this is. We have two classes divided by this divider. So this white line here at the center. The open weather by city class gives you the weather by the city name. And of course you have to provide an API key. The open weather by location class needs the latitude and longitude and also the API key which you can all define here at the top. As you can see, we're providing Miami API key and latitude and longitude. And that's it. All of the logic that you would normally have to write by yourself is handled by those two classes. But they're not only responsible for the fetching logic, they also build out the predefined UI. But you can also make your own unique design by using the pre-built functions instead of the pre-built widgets. To summarize, this package provides you with a very easy and convenient way to fetch data from the Open Weather API, and I think that even Baby Yoda is very impressed. If you are using one of the popular setting screen packages and find it hard to customize the look and feel, then the package Gizmos setting screen might be the right one for you. A Flutter package for displaying setting screens or similar. You can create custom skins or use one of the included skin prototypes. If you are familiar with the principles of Redux but search for a simpler solution, then have a look at Flutter Gadgets, a library for state management and service location in Flutter. A brand carries the personality traits of your business. It's one thing to fill a brand with positive associations, it's another thing to get into the long-term memory of your customers. A suitable method is to bring the brand to the customer's attention again and again. In other words, through repetition. For this, the package Brand Circle Loading offers a clever trick by allowing you to display your brand whenever a loading process takes place. 
Do you also like to fast forward to watch the more interesting content of a video? Of course you don't, or at least I hope you don't. With a double tap player view package you can handle the fast forward or rewind behavior by double tapping on the left or right side of a video like you can with this YouTube video if you watch it on your mobile app or also by dragging horizontally. A list view that allows you to visualize the relationship of entries by common headings. With Cupertino list view you can display a vertical list of sections to group those items together. Furthermore, the title of the current section remains on top until the next one comes and pushes it away. If your app contains huge lists, you should provide an easy way to find desired items in that list. For example, with a vertical alphabet as navigation. With the following package you get exactly this feature. The package alphabet scroll view provides a scrollable list view widget with a dynamic vertical alphabet list which you can drag and tap to scroll to the first item starting with that letter. On top of that, that widget is fully responsive and runs on all supported platforms. You can make this widget unique by adding your own watermark. You can align the alphabet list on the left or right side and of course you can tap or drag the list to scroll to the letter of your choice. I am always grateful when a website or an app offers dark mode, so I am honored to announce the second place of this week and that is Theme Mode Selector, a widget to select between light and dark theme mode. The package is still in development, but it is said that it's working fine. If you want more control over your themes, especially when it comes to colors, be sure to check out Calendar Week 52, where featured a very popular package. In calendar week 1 the animated draw package was in second place and another package of the same type made it to the first place this week with 12 likes. Let me introduce you to Draw Swipe, an easy and quick swipe drawer library for displaying multi-layer drawer. Core of the package is the swipe drawer widget which you can freely customize according to your needs. Those were the top 10 of the week, I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you very much for your attention. To be notified about the upcoming videos, subscribe to my channel. I appreciate any kind of feedback and I get so much love from you guys and I really appreciate it. And also, if there's something that you think I could do better or should improve, don't hesitate to tell me about it. Thanks for watching, have a great week and see you soon.